Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with what I melted over the last week. Today is Monday, February 8th, <laughs> I believe. Um, <clears throat> so if you saw last week's video on my big box of what I wanted to melt for the next two months, you would know that I am week one in to melting older wax. So this is pretty much, I pulled all of my 2018 and older. There are some early 2019s in there um, just because I kind of knew they would fall in that category. They just happened to not be as old, but they were still old enough that I could justify putting them in the box. For the most part, I've had amazing luck. Um, if you guys remember, I did mention that my bedroom melts were not going to be included. I did have a couple older bedroom melts, but I didn't have any like pink sugar sleepy time or anything like that that was older. So I did say a disclaimer, I was going to melt my bedroom wax freely, which means I was going to just reach for my bedroom wax from my container, melt newer stuff, whatever, because I didn't have enough older stuff. All right, so the first thing I grabbed is Tiffany's Jammin' on the Beach. So I did a bunch of um, these uh, bakery bags from Sassy Girl because I just wanted to see what the performance would be like on every scent. Um, so I did melt most of what I have. I have a couple more I have not melted yet. But this was uh, Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies, Cookie Monster, Beach Nights, Blackberry Cupcakes Activities. So I did get this in a D-stash. It is from 7, 6 of 18. So it is, um, <clears throat> you know, about two and a half years old. This did very, very well. So um, I mostly got like the Blackberry and Beach Nights. And I did get that Cupcakes at Tiffany's. And I put this on in my bedroom my kitchen and the living room and I could still smell it six seven hours later which was very shocking to me because I have not really had much luck with Sassy Girl beyond like the one and a half year mark the, unless it was something like Disneyland that was super strong fruity I was not getting much performance past the like year and a half mark so this was pretty good I was really happy with that and it performed very well and it smelled amazing like that's something that I would definitely pick up all right, the next one I did from Sassy Girl is After the Wedding, which is Vanilla Lace, Cotton Candy, and Blackberry. This performed very, very well also. So, <clears throat> um, Sassy Girl, she has changed her labels several times. So, I kind of know, like, these are the newer labels, but at the same time, she stopped doing bakery bags spring of 2019. So, I know if I have a bakery bag, it's from spring of 2019 or older. That's kind of how I justified melting all the bakery bags because I knew they were at least approaching two years old, if not two years old. Because some of these I got in D stashes and I just don't know the age because they weren't marked. So, this one was really good. This was very, very, very heavy on the blackberry and vanilla lace. And then the cotton candy sweetened it. But it was a nice blackberry. That vanilla lace gives it more of like a sensual type vibe. And I really, I really love that. All right. Another one from Sassy Girl. Sonic. This is cotton candy frosting, blue raspberry slushy. This, oh my God, you guys, was absolutely amazing. Um, definitely blue raspberry <laughs> and definitely cotton candy you definitely got a cotton candy vibe from it it was real good i really enjoyed this it performed very very well um <clears throat> i put this on in the afternoon uh one day in my bedroom because robert was going to lay down after work um he's been really having migraine issues and he's stubborn and doesn't want to go to the doctor and i keep telling him we have insurance now we didn't have insurance so i told him i said we have insurance now you can go to the doctor because like he he his coworkers keep telling him to get um a prescription migraine medicine because he has them almost daily so he'll lay down for a couple hours after work and then he feels better um and he does work in a warehouse and he has to wear a mask all day of course so that I don't think is helping because he really honestly did not have the migraines till he had to start wearing the mask every day um I just don't think and here I'm not going to you know sit here and talk all anti-mask but I don't think breathing in your own air 20 you know eight hours a day is very healthful um and he has had negative effects on his body since he started having to wear a mask and that's all I'm gonna say on it but anyway so he laid down one day and he loved this he was like that is really good what is that and I told him and he's like oh okay then I just so happened to get a brittle in the other day from my pre-order I forgot about the um it was like right after Christmas she did a pre-order and I forgot I had ordered a brittle in that so I'm really glad now because now I can finish that and I know I have that brittle 
All right, the last of the Sassy Girl Bakery bags, pistachio, Disneyland, Fizzy Pop. It's pistachio, strawberry, cotton, candy, orange, lemonade, whipped cream, pineapple, and Fizzy Pop. I love Disneyland. I did order a loaf. She had it offered in the January pre-order. I think it was January. Yeah, so I went ahead and I did order a loaf of that because I love that scent. That's one that you can melt two years later and it'll still throw like a freaking beast. Um, I love pistachio, so I thought, okay, why not? And Robert loves Fizzy Pop. I put it on this morning and it is real good. Um, I would probably just do the Disneyland Fizzy Pop next time and probably not the pistachio, but it still was good and I did enjoy it. I do have a poly bag in the pistachio Disneyland um, and I like it, but I don't know. I kind of like Disneyland by itself better. So going along with more Sassy Girl, just not bakery bags. I have this poly bag of Davenport, which is pink chiffon lavender birthday. I do also have a loaf in this. I just got from that late December pre-order. So I thought I could work on finishing this up. This is really good. So I've always loved this scent. This is one of the first scents I fell in love with. Other than pink sugar sleepy time. Uh, when I first started buying from her late 2016, I had got a poly uh, or chunk bag, a uh, bakery bag in this. It is just really good. So you get that pink chiffon kind of gives it a girly but i also get like i don't want to say laundry but it just has that fresh type scent and then the lavender it's a sweet lavender and the, her birthday cake is the strongest birthday cake from any vendor i've ever smelled by itself and you can definitely pick out the birthday cake pink sugar sleepy time from sassy girl pink sugar chamomile spearmint and lavender y'all know the deal with this it is my favorite i have five full loaves in that one so i am set now for the year and Robert goes, that'll last about six months. And I said, no, I said, th those five loaves will probably last me a year and a half. I said, but I'm not going to let myself, I don't like to let myself get below three loaves on hand just in case it doesn't get offered very much. I want to make sure I have plenty on hand so I don't panic. Um, cause that is my number one bedtime scent. It is my husband's number one bedtime scent. So I have to, I, we melt it about every other night. I have been trying to melt through my other stuff. So I have been melting it a little bit less, but everybody who knows me knows this is my jam. I mean, I, it's so bad that people are tagging me in the D stash posts when people post their D stash of that scent, because I know I like it, but I'm like, I have five loaves plus that half loaf. I am good. Um, for the remainder of 2021 into 2022, but if she restocks it again, like in the fall, I will order another loaf or two, depending on how many I've gotten through in the year. I think that's it for Sassy Girl, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Okay. So I'll do Super Tarts next. I didn't melt a whole lot of different vendors because I was, I'm just trying to kind of get through some things. Um, so I only had just a handful that I melted from. All right, so from Super Tarts, I did some Merry Mouse, Sweet Lollipops, Ice Lemonade, Christmas Trees. Robert really liked this. He loves the Mouse Ears blends. And I thought this would be really good. Um, I really enjoy this one. I've had it before. I have a few clamshells of it also because she just, uh, she did the Chris Melts over stock or whatever. So, excuse me. So when she pours Bam Bags, which I didn't order that one because I was trying to be good. Um, she does overstocking clams. So extras from the BAM bags she'll pour into clams. So I did order two or three clams of that um, as well. I'd melt this all year long. Um, this is strictly a bedroom and bathroom scent for me. Bedroom during the day, obviously. Because um, Robert really loves those fizzy. He loves lemonade and fizzy pop and all those. All right, so I tried this one for the first time. This is Jasper. It is Satsuma and White Clouds. This was really good. I did it in my bathroom. I didn't know what to expect on cold. I don't know, on cold it kind of just has a sour note. I love Satsuma and I love White Clouds, but the two together just, it kind of turned my nose up. It almost smelled like a sour orange, like an orange that had started to go bad. But when I melted it, it was so good. So you cannot go by cold. You have to try it. So I have several clamshells of this, so I wanted to try it. So I got the, these in a D stash. That was the one I mentioned where I got a bunch of older wax, all those Sassy Girl Poly ba or, yeah, uh, Bakery bags. And she was selling like 50, 60, 40 cents an ounce for these older wax. Now this I know is from 2018 because I know when she changed out her labels. So I grabbed three clamshells from the Lady of Peter. And this is Fresh Cut Grass, Watermelon, Rock Candy, Mac Apple Shaving Cream, and sea salt. It's a blend of Sam's, Shire, and Briarcliff. So at first, the grass scared me, of course, but 
adding with the watermelon rock candy in the mac and i love briar cliff that mac apple shaving cream that is a sensual it almost is a masculine shaving cream whereas like um mystique is a feminine shaving cream but this was really good so i put this on the other day in my bedroom and we were hanging out in there i was cleaning and robert was watching tv and it just was so good it was so fresh and so sensual and it was amazing so it did not last as long as the newer stuff which i don't know if it was stored weird or if it was i i've been double bagging my clams now and um i have four by five poly bags so i've been actually bagging my clam shells in the clamshell um and that way and this one really isn't super soft either but i know it's from 2018 because she changed her labels early 2019 she did the full length label label of these and then like mid to late 2019 she changed to that white label that it currently is oh, i'll show you see minerva that full label that was the early 2019 label okay so anyways this is real good it did not last as long but i would buy this again even if it didn't last as long and that's unusual for super tarts for me i have been melting 2017 and 18 super tarts that is still thrown amazing so i'm not saying that it's too old or anything i don't know she could have gotten it from a d stash and it could have not been stored properly who knows i have no idea all right the next one i think this is the last of the super tarts i did do a cube of minerva i did this in my bedroom the other day i was just in the mood for some laundry um it was cleaning day um i had cleaned i was like not cleaning, but I was like reorganizing my bedroom one day and then I cleaned it the next day. So this one's real good. I love the pink sugar mixed with the laundry. This is one that I always keep on hand, whether it's in BAM bags or several clamshells, but it is one that is absolutely phenomenal. If you like laundry, you would like it. All right. So now I think the last of the non-empties is Hayden Row. I started working on these scent shots that I got from that these stash. Yep. And the rest are empties. Okay. So I have three scent shots I did not finish. Um, the first one is Lemon Tranquility. Now this was nice. Robert and I both loved this. So I, 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 I cut these in thirds. I love melting lemon scents when he's home because he loves lemon. And it's so funny because everybody seems to listen to what he likes because every single time one of my subscribers like will send me a D-stash, they usually will send something for him. And it's usually lemon or like manly or or like a fruit loops or something and i'm just like y'all listen to what he likes more than y'all listen to what i like <laughs> i'm not mad though it makes him happy so that he doesn't get mad at all the packages that come in so that's good this was just so good it was very powdery but it was also really just bright with that lemon it's more just a nice calming scent um i actually put that on at nap time and uh it, he really enjoyed it like he didn't complain sometimes when he's taking his nap he'll complain uh, but he really didn't and I got to get him to start sleeping at night because I think that would help because he's start he's like going to bed midnight one in the morning and getting up before six for work so if you do the math he's only getting four or five hours sleep and so I think he'd ha he'd be able to cut out his like evening nap if he would actually like go to bed at night all right, and then we have Black Sea Barber. I actually scored a loaf. I did a trade with my friend Brittany, and she actually is sending me a loaf of this. I love this scent. We put this on the other day. It was so good. I love that Black Sea scent. Oh, it is so manly, masculine color. It's just such a good scent. If you do not like Black Sea or those that those type of scents, you wouldn't like it. But oh, it's so good. And the last of the non-empties is Seaside Barber, and this one I have two two of, and I'm super happy because it is so good this i would pick up from her i haven't ordered from her since early 2019 or it was like april may 2019 but i i would i would buy that in a heartbeat all right last up is the empties so i will start with the bags because there's only two we have hayden row my 90s boyfriend this is another one that i would absolutely buy in a heartbeat did not know that this was cool water type i actually found it in the group but I love this. Um, it is such a nice, you know, kind of manly scent, but very fresh. And then this one I did in my bedroom last night. Lavender and chamomile baby clean from Closet Full of Wax. This did not do what I thought it was going to do. So it performed very well. Now her stuff does perform very well for me. I will tell you though, I am not a fan of her prices. And I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, there, She's charging 
a dollar seventy five an ounce for her wax now. Um, is what I gathered. There's a group I'm in on Facebook, and somebody posted their haul, and it was five ounces for eight seventy five. And I'm going, I go. I thought that sounds really expensive, so I did the math, and it's a dollar seventy five an ounce. And I went, who in the hell's charging that kind of prices now? So I, I I like her wax; it performs very well. Do I think it's worth that much? No. Um, not when other vendors are charging a dollar forty an ounce, and I don't even like that. You know, I think that's even ridiculous when you got some that are charging a dollar ten at max, and you're still getting a good performance. Um, so this, I thought this was going to be different. I thought this was going to be that like bedtime bath, the baby bedtime bath with the lavender chamomile. This was straight up powder. Um, it reminds me of the women's powder deodorant. I actually laid down. And I was getting ready to go to sleep and I smelled it and I was looking around to see if I left a deodorant open because it almost reminded me like there was, it almost f smelled like there was a stick of deodorant in my bed that the cap was off. That's how weirdly powdery this was. I guess baby clean is like a powder scent. I got no lavender chamomile. I got straight up baby powder. So that, that was, um, I had bought those samplers cause she always has those, those samples and I had bought several of those sam samplers so I could try her wax, um, you know, kind of a little bit here and there. Mm -mm, no, thank you. Okay, last is the scent shots. From Swanky, I finished this Lavender Pink Sugar Marshmallow. This was good. Strong. I wish her stuff was not strong. Um, I've said it once, I've said it before. I've never ordered from her. These I've gotten as freebies and de-stashes or I bought a lot because I wanted a couple things out of the lot and they were in it. I just didn't feel like re-de-stashing them. And her stuff does perform very well. Would I ever purchase from her directly? Probably not. Um, I'm really not a fan of some certain things that I had seen from her own words happen. And that's all I'm gonna say because I'm not gonna get into the drama. All right, and then from L3, I did this Saturday Morning Cartoons, which is or Saturday Morning Cartoons Waffle Cone. So it's all your favorite cereals and milk with waffle cone. This was so good. So this was very heavy on the cereal, but it also had a, quite a bit of waffle cone in it. Um, it was real good. I really enjoyed this a lot. It performed very well. It is, you know, two plus years old. I finished from Hayden Row Pressed Linen. This is real good also. I enjoyed it. It wasn't as strong as like um, her squeaky clean and all those. I enjoyed it though, but I probably wouldn't repurchase it. All right. And then I did two of these. I did one in my kitchen and one in my bedroom. Caramel Macchiato from that Smell Good Shop. So one of these was from 2017 and this one was from 2018. So I did want to finish those up. This was real good. Despite being three years, almost, well, no, just over just over three years old for that 2017 and then this one was just coming up on three years old um this was real good I love her caramel macchiato this I would repurchase in a heartbeat I'd get it in bulk and it performed very well despite being as old as it was it did perform very well and the last three I believe are teddy bees yeah I got these uh sample shots breaking dawn which this one oh my god I love this one this one I would definitely buy in a heartbeat. It was so good. Um, very calming and very soothing. And then Lavender and Driftwood. Yeah, this one was also really good. I didn't get as good a performance with that one, but it did smell good for what I could get. Oh, this one I loved. Strawberry Lavender Pound Cake. This was really, really strong though. Really strong, sweet. It was really like a sweet lavender and a sweet strawberry. All right, so that's everything. So um, I mentioned in my big video, I was going to save my empties. Now I'm not going to save the bedroom empties unless they were in those boxes. So like the closet full of wax and the teddy bees were not in that box. So those I'm tossing, they're not going to go into my empties account. But all this, these rest of these scent shots and this bag of my nay's boyfriend, those are going to go in a separate bag to count my empties because... I wanted to see how many I how many older wax items I could empty in the two months that I was doing this challenge. And then at the so it ends the 31st of March. So on the 1st of April, I will come back 
and do all my empties and just show you guys what I emptied and what I thought of every I mean it depending on how many empties there are I may not tell you my thoughts because I'm telling you my thoughts now I just may quickly go through my empties all right so that's everything I will talk to y'all later thanks for watching bye